Father, listen to the Holy Ghost, worship the from the Holy Ghost, pray for St. John, may his blessings be with us all, Amen. From the song of our teacher David, the prophet and king, may his blessings be with us all, Amen. We went through fire and water, but you brought us out into the place of refreshment. Bless our God, you Gentile, and make the voice of his praise to be heard. الذي له المجد الدائم people and make disciples 
And he answered them and said, He who has the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears rejoice greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. Therefore this joy of mine is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. He who has the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him <coughs> rejoicing, rejoices greatly. The friend of the bridegroom. And this is uh, how we call St. John the Baptist. He is the friend of the bridegroom. He is the friend of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today I want to talk with you about friendship. Do we really need a friend in our life? They make a statistic, they ask a group of people, and 92% said, yes, we need a friend. And you know that uh, in the book of Ecclesiastical 4.9 said, two are better than one. So we need someone to be with us. We need someone to be like our friend. Proverbs 18.24 said, a man who has friends may be broken up. So be careful. Yes, we need to have a friend, but our friends may influence us that we may be broken up. But there is lover who sticks closer than a brother. So we have a true friendship and a false friendship. What is the true friendship? The true friendship is always trustworthy, supporting, encouraging, caring. It has unconditional love, will accept me and keep loving me unconditionally, regardless what I'm doing or the situation I'm at. So, can we find someone who has all this characteristic? <coughs> Trustworthy, supporting, encouraging, caring, has an unconditional love. Can we find someone who has all this? Yes. The only one is our Lord Jesus Christ. As St. John said in his um, Gospel, John 15, 13, greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for his friend. So our Lord Jesus Christ proved already that he is our best friend. A friend when others friendship sees a friend who gives me joy and peace. A friend when other friendships sees a friend who gives me joy and peace. Let us go very quick to see from the Bible a proof of that, his honesty, 2 Timothy 2.13, if we are faithful, faithless, he remain faithful, he can deny himself. So even if we are faithless, even if we are not so honest with him, he will keep honest with us. Psalm 138.8, you Lord will always treat me with kindness, your love never <coughs> fails. Always treat me with kindness. Always. So he's always honest. Loyal. But let all those rejoice who put their trust in you. Let him ever shout for joy. Because you defend him, let those also who love your name be joyful in you. يفرح جميع المتكلين عليك إلى الأبد يهتفون وتظلهم إلى الأبد محبة ربنا إلى الأبد His love is forever ويبتهج بك محب اسمك Unconditional love We all know about the parable of the prodigal son and also Roman 5, 8 But God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we are still sinners, Christ died for us. So he loves us even while we are in our sin. While we are sinners. 
unconditional love. Caring. David said, when my father and my mother forsake me, even my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. He's always caring. Even when I have my father and my mother to care of me, he will take care of me. Abi wa ummi kasarakani wa amma rabbi yadumuni. Understanding. I can tell you this is one thing that we always complain about it. That I couldn't find anyone who can understand me. We always saying different languages. There is no one who can understand. They always argue with me, they always complain about me, they always... Yani, no one understands. But in Psalm 139, David said, O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You understand my thought afar off, for there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. You understand. You are the Creator. You are the Creator. And you know my thoughts, and you search my depths, as we say, and that. You remember? When do we say that? <laughs> Sunday Psali. You know my thoughts, and you search my depths. يا رب قد اختبرتني وعرفتني فهمت فكري من بعيد إنه ليس كلمة في في لساني إلا وأنت رب قد عرفتها كلها. You will not find anyone who can understand you even better than yourself than the Lord can do. Supporting. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Asak wa'abkazak huma Supporting. He always supports me when I walk in the valley of the shadow of death. Whenever I pass through a hardship or tribulation, the Lord will be always available, especially when there is no one. The Vesper, uh, the reading in the Vesper, the Gospel was about the lame man. That when the Lord asked him, Do you need to be whole? The sick man answered, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is fired up. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your bed and walk. So, when there is no one to help you, when there is no one to ask about you, when there is no one to support you, he's always available and he's always providing Delivering, comforting, supporting, and encouraging. This verse is so good. In the day when I cried out, you answered me and made me bold with the strength in my soul. In the day when I cried out, you answered me and made me bold with the strength of my soul. He's always encouraging and deliver us as the Psalm 18 said the Lord is my rock and my fortness and my deliverer my deliverer 
My God, my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. الرب صخرتي وقوتي وبه أحتمي إلهي قوتي حسني وملجئي قرن خلاصي This is my true friend This is He is my true friend He is my refuge in the time of trouble The Lord also will be refuge for the oppressed a refuge in the time of trouble and those who know your name will put their trust in you for you Lord not forsaken those who seek you for you Lord not forsaken those who seek you يكون الرب ملجأ للمنصحق ملجأ في أزمنة الضيق ويتكل عليك العارفون اسمك لأنك لم تترك طالبيك يا رب Who is like you? That's why David said Even all my bones shall say Lord, who is like you? As if every bone of my bones has a special experience with the Lord That all my bones shall say Lord, who is like you? جميع عظامي تقول يا رب من مثلك Who is like you trustworthy delivering supporting encouraging caring faithful <coughs> love and unconditional love who is like you O Lord A friend when others friendship cease, a friend who gives me joy and peace. A friend when other friendships cease, a friend who gives me joy and peace. So what we are waiting for? <coughs> Just call him. Just talk to him. Just to start a relationship with him. Get all these blessings by being closer to Him. No waiting time, no hidden fee, available 24, 3, 6, 5 days a year. He's always available. You may call a Buna and you leave a voice mate. You may call your friend, your parents, and you couldn't get hold of them. But He is always available. Just talk to Him. Just call Him. Just cry out to him. Just open up to him. Our Lord Jesus Christ wants to be your best friend. He is the one friend that he always be there for you. He always loves you and wants what is the best for you. He will never abandon you or reject you. When you offend him, you only have to turn back to him and he will forgive you. He loves you still even when you have hurt him. He can be closer to you than your best friend if you want him to. And he is considerate. He will never force you to be his friend. So, How close you want the relationship to be is up to you. For this reason, the Son of God became flesh and dwelt among us to be our true friend. It's your decision. It's your decision. Do you accept Him as your best friend in life? Or you find some other friendship that's better than Him? I want to tell you a story and this is a true story about a girl she was in Egypt and she fell in love with someone who is not a believer 
And Abuna went to her and tried to convince her, My daughter, this man is not good for you. He's not a believer. He will not be honest with you. He will not be faithful with you. He will not be supporting with you. This man will not ensure you eternal life. Don't leave Christ for a man that may broke you up. She couldn't listen to him. And she said, Abuna, you know what? I love him so much. I couldn't imagine my life without him. I can't leave him. No way. Don't try. And Abuna said, so you are denying Christ by accepting this guy. She said, you know what? I don't know, but this is what I know. That I know this guy so much and I can't live without him. So Abuna take heed for a minute and he didn't do he didn't know what to do. And then he take a picture or an icon for our Lord Jesus Christ from his pocket and gave it to her and said, You know what? I will ask you only for some small thing if you can do it. She was nice to say, okay, I can listen. He said, take this picture with you and every day in the morning when you wake up, look at this picture and say, you know Jesus, I love this guy more than you. And put it in your pocket. And before you sleep, again, look to Jesus' picture and say, I love this guy more than you. This is all what I need from you to do. Three or four days later, this girl went to Abuna crying out and said, I can't leave Jesus. I can't deny my Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. I don't love this guy anymore. Who will take me out of him. I love Christ more than anyone else. He is a friend when every other friendship sees. He is a friend who always gives me joy and peace. Be honest with him. Talk to him. Open your heart to him. <coughs> Tell him even I couldn't love you or I don't love you more than these things. Help me. Support me. Deliver me. Encourage me. I want to know you more. What to do is your decision. Either to accept him as God and Savior and the best friend in your life and open up with him and tell him all your thoughts and your concerns and your fears and spend time with him and invest time with him and enjoy the closest possible union with him in the liturgy when we see a true body and true blood of our Lord Jesus Christ and partake of it at the end of the liturgy, this is your decision or you do anything else. It's up to you. But I can promise you, there is no other friend than him. A friend, when every friend, other friend just sees a friend who always give us joy and peace. Spend time with him in the morning, during the day, in the evening. I know girls in high school, they used to wrote letters <coughs> to our Lord Jesus Christ. Letters. Um, one of the girls that uh, had been passed away in this bus accident in 1999 in Egypt. I went and visit her parents and they showed me letters. She used to write it to our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a relationship. And as long as you're going to feel his presence with you and you open up with him and let share with him openly and clearly 
and honestly all that is going on in your life as long as you can gain support and delivering and caring and encouraging and love and peace and joy and whatever you dream of and anything better than what you are dreaming of our Lord Jesus Christ is the true friend is the most faithful friend for all of us and it's your decision he wants to be a friend of us he incarnate and became man to be like us and to be our friend to live with us to share with us all our moments joy and whenever we are not joyful or we are sad or we are depressed or we are feared or whatever he is always available to support, to care, to encourage, to love, to deliver, to be a refuge, a shelter, to provide peace, joy, love, and care. And it's your decision. It is your decision to accept him, to start to build a relationship with him, to invest more time with him, or to do something else. And I can tell you one of the best moments that you can enjoy his relationship and enjoy his presence is during the liturgy. So please, don't get busy with others. Just focus on him and open up with him all your concerns and all your fears and all your goals and all your ob objectives and all your emotions and ask for his blessing and help and care and deliverance and all ربنا يدينا ان احنا نشعر بوجوده الصديق الامين لانه مفيش غيره مفيش غيره ابي وامي قد تركاني وام الرب فوجدني وقت ما بنلاقيش حد خالص نلاقي ربنا واقف وفاتح دراعاته ومستنينا تعال الاقي جميع المتعبين وصفي الاحمال وانا اريحهم وقت القداس وقت رائع جدا نشعر فيه بحضور الله لما الشمس بيقول ارفع عيونك من ناحيه المذبح وانظروا جسد ودم عمال يقيل عليه يلا نرفع علينا يلا نكلمه يا ريت ما نسمحش للشيطان ان هو يشتتنا باي افكار لكن يلا نكلم ربنا ويلا ننحني امامه ويلا نسلم له كل امورنا وحياتنا يلا نكلمه عن حياتنا وعن اولادنا وعن اهتماماتنا وعن مخاوفنا وعن امنياتنا يلا نحط كل حاجه في ايده ونقول له رب ان لم يسر وجهك امامي عارفين مين قال الكلمه دي موسى نبي قال له ان لم يسر وجهك امامي لو انت ما سبقتنيش يا رب في كل خطوه انا مش هتحرك اسبقني يا رب واسندني في كل خطوه دين يا رب اشعر بوجودك وحضورك معي في كل مكان وفي كل حته راحه وفي كل عمل بعمله اديني يا رب افرح بيك واقدم لك المحبه والخدمه اللائقه بيك كل ايام حياتي ربنا كل مجد وكرامه لا اله الا الله